All right, so this is the painting thus far. And Alita's over here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. All right, so go ahead and explain yeah. what you're going to do to it. Okay, it's... Uh... Okay, I'm, I'm working on getting these flappy pieces of bark uh, coming out now. And that, that's what I'll do next. And I'll make sure that, that they differentiate themselves from, from the background. Probably put a little bit darker tree, you know, darker foliage in here so that it, it stands out. And I will emphasize the, the richer orange uh, pinkishness of the inside of the bark here because this is a little bit glary. And uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a red, the Indian red uh, underpainting uh, in the on the ground in the foreground because that'll make the whole thing just come towards wow. you. And that, in in contrast with the sort of purpley bits of of uh, there'll be a lot of kind of electric sort of immediacy uh, that you could even step on that ground mm. as it is going to sparkle and. And, and become really immediate looking. So, so what you see in the picture here will will become magically enhanced by by judicious application of secret blues and reds, and then while yet still not losing the softness of the subtle uh, blue green misty colors in, in in the bark. So, where I need it to step step out from the background here I'm <laughs> excuse me I'm going to uh, do something right here so have you ever done uh, like a double colored underpainting before where you put yes like... yeah I have I've done um, underpainting that goes from well I was looking down into the water I haven't done it very often it's a few times I've done strips of color uh, but I did looking down into the, the onto the water of the swamp where there's a little blue sky reflection farther up, and then you don't see that when you're looking down like into the mud through the water or into the mud. So that's what I did a uh, dark brown underpainting, and then I made it into a rich ultramarine, and then I just painted on top of that. So that one was, was very effective. Mm -hmm. so, uh, sometimes I have. I kind of double underpainted the front in the reddish color like like I have uh, mentioned here and that I generally use with a fairly close up forest scene and I did that in the moss in the ferns fern drought ferns so it was very dry forest and there were ferns just collapsed and wilting like curling up in the foreground and then up on the, the base of the tree there were other ferns that had been curled but were, were starting to revive and then the, the background and I couldn't do it all in Indian red because everything would be in your face so I wanted to get distance behind those trees so I didn't do it was a it was a burnt sienna underpainting that one but then I intensified it in the, in the foreground mm -hmm. before I before I painted my ferns, I, I made it a dark, a richer Indian red, so that um, so that what I had the ferns that I painted onto it, the pine needles that I painted onto it, and uh, and the the mosses and everything would be seen against this dark bright red, like not really bright red, but but the Indian red, which is here. There's the Indian red. So that's basically the color that I'm gonna I'm gonna be putting here. Mm. And let's look at this rigging up system that you've done here. Oh yeah, this is, <laughs> this is what I call packing tape engineering, and uh, and I have this little I guess it's a cedar. Is it a cedar stick? No, I don't know what kind of a stick that is. Apple or buckthorn. And uh, this is a little um, tr uh, tray, a little serving tray from Kenya. It's carved. It's all carved on the inside, uh, with my little uh, lidded palette it's got a lid that fits onto it. I just got this tape over here so that it doesn't slip too too badly and so mm -hmm. so this is my my dresser and I can't use the top two drawers so I just moved my clothes out of them for now. <laughs> well this is a bigger painting than I had st like the last painting I did I, I set up on on the upper drawer so mm -hmm. I could, could use the second drawer. Um, what the reason why I want this dresser here is because it's not very deep and it's tall. I don't have 
any kind of furniture or table or anything that has those proportions. And I love the light from the window here. I have uh, closed the curtain behind it just because I want to be able to see my um, iPad more brightly. As as the light diminishes, and up here, see, I have my ot light. Yeah, you have like suspended yeah. iPad from the ceiling and suspended well, light. If I when I turn my ot light on in the evening, I get this daylight, uh, and then if there's no other light, the, the iPad needs to be dimmed down. So I just uh, you know set it so that it's comparable to the lighting I see on my mm -hmm. painting. Um, yeah, and, and I have this, this is a snow brush, and it's just making a little <laughs> ledge so that the painting itself, see the painting uh, can set um, on, on the ledge and not slip off. There was a cat that last night that Bentley. jumped down. <laughs> he, I had a lid on this, and I'm glad I did because he's jumped into my palette once before not knowing what he was jumping on. Where is my lid? Um, here it is. I've got, this is very handy, I've got a lot of stuff back here, supplies of various kinds. I've got my soap and my roll of paper. Anyway, so this was like that, it had mm -hmm. this lid. And here's Bentley. But I think he got up on here, and then I didn't have these because at night I have my Kleenex here. So he just sort of stepped over the Kleenex and onto here and it went bang. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, it's strong, but it's not strong enough for a 20-pound for a, a big... cat. <laughs> no, 20 I pounds? think he's 10 pounds. Yeah. Anyway, so, you know, and then I play music to myself, uh, or book tapes or whatever as I paint. And here's my stool, which is just exactly the right height, which swivels so that I can sit on it. And turn it sideways, and be the right the right distance from the painting. It should be a little bit farther away. But... Awesome. Well, there I am. Thank you, Alita. I just got a nice little clip of that. 